What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the New York Islanders picking up where we left off just getting into this fresh new season with a 26 and 0 record which is fantastic and if you look at our division well it's not as strong as it was last year which is nice for us as you can see they're all kind of more more so down there. Uh, the Atlantic division is looking a bit stronger at the, at the beginning here. Central right now is the weakest. Okay so what I was, uh, I was doing a bit of look in here before I started looking at your guys' comments, deciding what we should do now. Um, I, I did see some things, you know, at like to like change Klein's player type to see if he would perform better and etc. Stuff like that. Um, the only thing I'd really change him to would be like a sniper because of his shot, but I don't think that would change would change his like rate of shooting. I've never, I've seen it do that like kind of not, but not really. Remember when we had Abraham Mitchell? He we changed him to a sniper. He seemed to do better from when he was a power forward, but I don't know. I mean, I could try it, but the, the only thing is, is if we put him back on the, on the second line doing that, we have Dalcal as a sniper. Produce, he's producing a bit hybrid this year. Bovier is a playmaker, but being more of a goal scorer right now with quite a few shots. Hogan as well, who's sort of producing hybrid-like, but obviously he'd be moved down with uh, 80 shots, taking a lot of shots. So if we did change Klein to a sniper, he'd have to kind of become a goal scorer because he doesn't have the offensive stats to to really be a passer. So I think we'd kind of overload that line with too much. I mean, even now I'm a little bit worried that Hogan will will be a bit too much, but with his offensive stats, I think he could fall into a more of a passing role on this line if he's if he so chooses and Del Call kind of doing the same thing. So I want to try this combination out a bit. If it if it fails to work, if it looks like, you know, our second line is uh is kind of dropping, then, you know, I could do it first, but I do want to test out Hogan in this role first just to see if these guys can get well, they don't really need to get going too much more. They're doing pretty good. I mean, 20 points in 26 games is not bad. Yeah, they're, they're really doing pretty damn good with Klein, uh, with Klein being on there. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, eh. It's a tough call. But uh, I don't, I don't want to leave Hogan off the top off the second line for too long i do want yeah i i gotta prioritize i'm gonna try to prioritize hogan's growth here but what i will do is i already checked i, I, I was i was actually gonna do it first try to try with Klein. i was gonna see if his rate of shot would, would change i can i can do the math on it again after the break if uh if we don't think that's getting the job done i think we should sim a bit right now keep an eye on foot we're not gonna make any trades yet but we probably will be i think foot Maybe not leaving this year, but I'm trying to get the most out of him for this year. But if he keeps losing morale and stuff, it's going to tank our locker room chemistry. And we, we, we don't want that. So Kupari, unfortunately, is going to keep being scratched. I have, you know, some people are asking to trade Hosang. Yeah, that's definitely on the table. But I, I want to I want to make sure that I have a, a good replacement for him in the top six uh, before I, I, I chip him off. So, yeah, he is he's kind of perhaps nearing the end of his tenure here. But for right now, we could use them. So, yeah, I think I think we're just going to keep simming here. Everything was ticking along pretty well. Now, we're going to see if this minor change will will really do much to that second line. If, you know, if it seems like we're doing worse, then perhaps we want that defense on the second line or something. Even though Hogan brings, you know, a good amount of defense. We'll see what happens. Just take it month by month. Check the stats. Check on the growth. Stuff like that. So, all right, come on now. Let's see how we're going to do here. All right, so we lose the first one, and we lose two in a row. One in OT, though, so it's not horrible, but that's not that's not the greatest start of this month. Two losses. One point out of a potential four. <laughs> Don't lose this game now. now then, I'll, then I'll start actually worrying. Oh, good. Joseph Hogan's been injured with a sprained ankle. Estimated return <laughs> is the 13th of December. That's actually kind of a bit. It'll be gone almost to look for a full month here. So that's a bit unfortunate. I could move Klein back up. I could put him back up. Or I can move Hosang up, which I might do. Yeah, I might move. I'm going to move Hosang back up. I can move Stevenson up and put Kupari in. Yeah, I'll do something like that. All right, we'll put Kupari in. And he'll probably play the other spots because... On the power play, 
Oh, is he not? Oh, yeah. Okay, I have to, I'd have to put him on the point. That's all right. I'll put him on the point for the power play. He's actually got a decent shot. Oh, yeah, he's got a really good shot. Really hard, too. Good slapper. So we'll just put Kupari in every way that uh, that he was for now. I could put Stevenson in. I'm not too sure this guy's rate of shooting, actually. That one game, two shots. I mean, it's really not indicative of much. I'm going to put Stevenson in here, I think. Yeah, I was more comfortable with him being in there, I believe. At least with... I know he shoots a lot, so I'm going to put him in there. All right. So that's what we'll do. Tough injury right there, especially seeing as I was trying to trying to see if he would do okay down there. All right, well, let's see who, how, how Ho Sang will do up onto that line. All right, we got a win there, but that was the injury game. So, nice 2 nothing win. Montreal, pretty decent team right now. Pane okay, now this is another bad one. Now Panarin's gone down, but that's actually not too much longer. That's December. That's, that's this month, so... That sucks, though, still. <laughs> that does suck. All right, well, I might have to move Klein up at this point. <laughs> I think I will. Yeah. And we'll have to stuff someone else in here. I can move up this booze guy. And I might do. Yeah, and then I'll stuff in Grandland here. And uh, I'm going to have to screw with the power play a bit. I know I don't want him on there. I could put Colin up, or I could put Hosang up. Let's see how they produce on the power play, each of these guys. So, passer. Uh, more of a shooter. And half and half, actually. So, Hosang might be a little bit more beneficial here. Oh, yeah. Both the, both the defensemen are half and half. So, maybe they get more assists if we move Dalcal up, but... I do like the mi mismatches that he creates on that. Let's move up Hosang. And we'll... <laughs> I'll keep... I'll probably keep Granlin in there for now on the second unit. Three on three. Probably the same thing. Like I said, this is actually... It's only a couple games here. Because... Yeah, we'll put him in there. We'll just sub him in the right spots here. Yeah, Hogan's already available. Yeah, I forgot that we were at... I thought we were a month behind for some reason, but we were not. Oh, that's a tough loss. We get a point, though, so Hogan's fully healed good. All right. Couple rough injuries right here, but we should be able to manage it. Now, tricky part is... Do I want to keep Hogan? No. Ah, second line could take a big hit right here. All right, well, first of all, let's probably scratch Kupari, because that's, yeah, he'll fill in. I might want to move, eh, I might want to keep Hosang up there with Beauvillier. I think I do. Yeah, I do. So move Klein over there, and probably put in Hogan. Yeah. Is he a lefty? Yeah, he's a lefty. He could actually play on this side, and he's, yeah, he'll, he'll work out for right now. They'll play on their natural size for a bit. And then once we get the lines back taken care of, we'll, oh my god, yeah. They're going to be a bit mixed up after this. But Panarin should be back. Yeah, and maybe a couple more. Yeah, maybe three more games I think he'll miss. And we're still doing okay without him. It's a tough loss. We're getting points in, in when we take L's, so he's available. Again, wait till he's fully healed. Should be before the next game. Maybe he'll miss one more. Okay, no, he's, he's fully healed. Okay. There we go. So rough month for injuries right here. Now I just need to figure out how to put them all back. All right, so there, there. There we go. <laughs> and Panarin back in. And now he should go everywhere except for the three on three. And I am going to go around and double check. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I, I, there was a lot in there. I don't want to, I just want to make sure they wasn't. Okay, yeah, uh, that need to change. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry, my throat. All right, four and four is good. I think he was just on the power plays and stuff like that. Four man, we're good. All right, so we should be good after that. I don't want to have another Cullen situation. Oh, I leave him off the special teams for a month. I'm pretty sure we're good now. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So our lines are back to about where they were supposed to be. Yeah, they're they're back. Okay. So come on, Hogan. How you you've been doing all right, actually, since he's been up there, I think. Forgot to check his point totals. Alright, come on now. Uh yeah, you weren't even out. Don't lie. 
You're fine. Oh my goodness, big old 5 nothing shutout against Pittsburgh and a 4-2 to two win. So we're continuing our good ways here. Good defense, good offense. I like it. I like what I see. We're a great team right now. Another win against Pittsburgh. Philly, you suck. Oh yeah, they're not even that good this year. Overtime loss, but we get a point. So in this... We... Oh yeah, we lost... Okay, we lost twice in regular... We lost a few times in this month, but it doesn't look as bad because we got three points. Oh no, even, yeah, even more. Four. Four OT losses in this month. So, four points that we won, and then two rec... So, actually, our record was not as good as it could have been this month, but with the overtime losses in there, it doesn't seem as bad, because we get some points out of it. 27, 8, and 4. I mean, you look at that record, that's a really good record. It's more than a 2 to 1 win-loss ratio, even accounting for the reg uh, the overtime losses. Did our AHL team kind of slip? Hold on a sec. I noticed their record wasn't as good as I thought it should be. Oh, never mind. That's still pretty good. I thought that was... Uh, it was higher in the teens, their losses right there. So we're still in first. Oh, yeah, by six points with uh, no one has any games in hand. So that's a natural sip. six points we're in first by. And then the next... Son of a bitch, let me stay in there. And then the next one is... Okay, it doesn't want to. Okay, fine. I'll just go somewhere else. <laughs> EA keeps changing it on me. I'm trying to talk about it. All right, here we go. Okay, so goals four went down a bit. Slackers. <laughs> but it's still... Our ratio is... St oh, man. Goals against is still very impressive. Oh, man, New York's a great defensive team. They can't really put points on the board, though. Familiar. All right, uh, 3.38, 2.18. I mean, that's fantastic. A 1.2 differential. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, power play slipped from 30%. Yeah. It was not going to maintain that the whole time, but as long as we're above 20%, that's really good for us. Uh, okay, penalty kill slipped a little bit. However, it's still, it's still decent, and we don't take that many penalties, which is amazing. Last 10, 6, 1, and 3, yeah. You can see those OT losses. But home and away record's pretty good. Oh, my. Oh, never mind. So, I don't know why I saw that as 10, 0, oh, and yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, Barzal. Leading the way. Yeah, Panarin slipped off a bit thanks to injury. <laughs> so, Barzal put some space in between him. Cullen, though, creeping up there. 35 points in 39 games play. 39. Yeah, bars all missed a game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was injured. I remember. He only missed one. Uh, there's Hosang up there at 32 on the third line with special teams time. I mean, damn. He's getting the job done. There's Beauvillier becoming a goal scorer for some reason. Uh, Dolan doing pretty damn good. 31 points in 39 games played. That pace is strong. Dalcall not wanting to be a goal scorer anymore has de developed into a hybrid role. That's all right with me. Bouchard, though, man. 28 points. He passed up Carlson. Bouchard. There's Hogan with 27 for Hogan. I think that's, uh, he's doing pretty good. He got two, two goals and an assist or so since we last, since we last, I don't know. Oh, he's up to an eight, uh, 84 now as well. And his offensive stats got better. This guy is going to be a filthy top six player, I think. And I think he's, he'll probably make it to the first line. So if we wanted to switch Colin to the other side, wow. We could have two guys on the one-time sides working with Barzal in the future. That could be good. I'm liking the way Hogan's looking for sure. I could even consider ch changing him to a sniper or something, but he seemed to do really well in the power forward role. Like, I'm, I never really get power forwards who seem to produce well, but Hogan's looking like the type who could. And especially with Dolan in the future on our top two pairing, I mean, we could use a big body on that line. All right, there's Yokello with 19 points. Klein has 15 now. That's not too bad, actually. Klein's doing okay. I mean, he did spend some time in the top six. Okay, there's Booze as a minus two. So, our, our, yeah, our... Unfortunately, our fourth line is not doing too well. I think it has a lot to do with this Brisgolov guy, so... It might be looking... Yeah, he's actually not even happy with this last time. He's listed as third liner. He's got statistical minuses, too. Like, this guy... It was a great steal for us, but he's looking less and less like an NHLer as we go along. I mean, we were, we were trying to maybe develop him and then change him to a winger. Because we weren't too sure who would take over Panarin's spot eventually. We had a few, a few suitors for this, but it's looking like Hogan might be the guy now. Yeah, I might want to look towards moving Brisgala. If we can put Kupari right back in there, and he might change things up. Anyway, there's, yeah, Bouchard is really sprung there. I mean, that's impressive. He's, damn. I'm liking him. He's a, He was a bit of a late bloomer. I was, I was, wor I'm glad I stuck with him, though. Mostly it's because of stubbornness, because I traded so much for him, but. <laughs> anyway, Dolan, I'm liking how he's looking. Foot's the only minus. It's probably because he's so freaking pissed. I don't know how he's like a minus on this team, but it's pretty funny. 
It's not really funny. That's a little disconcerting. Yeah, he keeps losing morale. I'm probably just going to have to trade this guy. I was trying to make the most out of his defensive stats, but I think he's just so pissed that he's just kind of ruining it. Lukanen, wow, just continues to be exceptional. This is unbelievable. If he could keep this up, I'm pretty sure I saw someone guess him. and you, I, th I think you're doing it for lols, but <laughs> you might actually be on to something. I mean, he did have a great playoff. Remember last year, if you paid attention, if last year after the, I wasn't expecting him to be the guy, but in the playoffs, we went with him and look at those stats. So he does sim well. So you have a great, great point about choosing this guy. We'll see. We'll see how he turns out to be. All right. Anyway. He's, did I see, I'm pretty sure I just saw six shutouts too, yeah. Um, he's got a real shot. <laughs> he's got a big shot. Alright, I'm going to check on some growth real quick, because I didn't do that in the last video. So, let's see how we're doing here. Alright, let's see. So, the next spot is, yeah, nine points between second and third spot. This division is like back ass words from last year. Okay. Progress reports. Hogan! Yeah, he's got a bit of growth. Let's see. Yeah, passing went up. Awareness went up. He's going to be a filthy offensive threat. Probably around the same capacity if he gets up that high around what Panarin is. So we really are replacing him with perhaps a better player who's going to be better overall. Maybe a bit more defense. His shot got better. Slap shot mostly. But he's got a good overall shot. Uh, defense is really good, man. I wish his awareness would get a bit more than his shot blocking. If, if, those, if all three points were put into his awareness, that'd be filth. Good skater, too. Uh, not much. He has decent body checking, but not an aggressive game, so he's not too much of a hitter. So he's not going to take a lot of penalties, which is nice. Decent on the power play. More of a setup guy on the power play. Yeah, not a hitter. Uh, giveaway takeaways. Not too bad, but yeah, if he hit more, he'd have a lot more takeaways. His giveaways are... Yeah, I mean, this is... The, both of these are low, but the fact of his t not having as many takeaways is, I think, has to do with he doesn't hit a lot. I've noticed that. Guys who hit more have a lot more takeaways. But what you really want to look for in offensive players is very few giveaways, and this guy's got very few giveaways. And that is a direct correlation with his offensive stats. Offensive awareness, puck control, stuff like that. Guys with high stats like that do not turn the puck over too much. So that's good to know. Granlin, everything else is pretty much statistical. Besides, maybe... Oh, no, he's... Those are also... Yeah, his awareness went up. Yeah, that's all statistical. Okay, interesting. Brisgal... Yeah, as you can see, Brisgal have actually has statistical minuses, so... The work it'll take to try to get this guy back up is probably not worth it in the long term, but I'll, ke I'll keep trying to develop him. <laughs> I mean, he's at 83 at 22, which ain't bad, but we've... That, that's, that's what happens when you have so much talent. Some guys just get pushed out naturally. So, Van Ryan getting some good growth there. Off contract. I think he's probably, yeah, probably just chilling in the juniors. Borden, don't really need, ooh. All right, so good. This guy, was this guy we signed? Yeah, this is the guy we signed. He's getting a bit of growth. Korlev as well is up to a 77. Keep an eye on him. Interesting. Scarabelli, Sekach, Lindgren. So, yeah, we got a bit of growth here and there. Nothing really standing out, dude. Grat nope, Gratton's not, not grown yet. But, I mean, at 20 years old at 75, that's insane growth pace for a goaltender. You usually don't see that. They're usually still about high 60s, maybe just cracking 70. Gratton's on incredible pace. And it's looking like Lukanen might be good enough <laughs> with that to not, for us to not need Gratton. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so I think we're going to continue here. If we don't see improvement from foot, though, we're going to really have to consider moving him. It's just, I think his morale is going to really bring down our locker room in the long term. As, as great as he seems, yeah, it might not be working. All right, so let's sim through another month here. See if we can continue. It's all right, nice little win right there. Another shutout victory. Luke, it's probably Luke in the net. He's a god. Another loss, but we get a point. Ottawa's a decent team. Let's uh, scout around here. Ooh. Bit more in USA than there usually is. Well, compared to the Canada leagues, at least. All right. Toronto, that's a tough loss. But we had, we were due for one. A reg loss like that. And we just answer back with an... And there's another shutout. Then we lose. All right. Edmonton's a good team. And we lose to them two in a row. What is this losing streak win? <laughs> Uh-oh. Three in a row. We got a point out of that one. That's nice. But there we go. Finally get a, back in the winning side of things. Still plugging along and doing great. I'd still say this record's really good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Alright. 
Keep it going there. One more game. Get that dub. Get that dub. There you go. All right. So 35, 11, and 6 entering the month of um, uh, fe February. Yeah, February. Yeah, February. There we go. Hmm. Bridgeport's doing really good, too. All righty. Uh, call Whoa. First line. What are you? First line slacking. Slacking on the point department. They're dropping. Now Cullen's in the lead for points. What's up with Barzal always doing this to me? Ooh, our goals against went up a bit. But goals for didn't... Yeah, it went down slightly, but I think we got to be getting goals from other places. I wonder if our power... No, our power plays... I was, I was thinking, maybe our power play slipped. No, it's still doing all right. We got another shorty against, though. That's not great. But yeah, our actually, our, our, our ratio is now below one, so... Ooh, penalty. Yeah, penalty kill dropped even more, too. That's interesting. I thought I think it might be foot because he's on the top unit. If he's demoralized, he's not. Yeah, he might be not having a great time, and that might be bringing him down because he is on the first pairing for the penalty kill. I did that to try to keep his morale up, but it might not be realistic anymore. So we're gonna have to maybe look for uh, to get some return for him or something. I didn't want to trade him this year, but it's looking like more and more I might have to. Might have to happen. All right, let's see what's going on here with the first line. I think they just might be getting... What the hell? Barzal's dropped way the hell down there. Dolan's doing incredible, though. Bobby, a second... Okay, it's because our second line has really exploded. Yeah, Panarin. Look at the pace of Panarin. I mean, the whole pace of the first line's really down. Well, Bovier's way up. Uh, Dalcal and Hogan, not so much, but... What the hell are these? Where does Bovier even come? Damn, dude. Power play. Impressive. He's making a case. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm not too sure where the first line scoring dropped off. I think it's just because we're really, really spread out well. So, Colin, I mean, that's a pretty sizable lead he just took, too. I mean, that's not, the, that's not peanuts or anything. Pretty sizable lead. He just jumped up ahead. All right, Pooz has grown a bit. That's now. Now he's listed as a third liner, of course. Yeah, as you can see, the fourth. Oh yeah, the fourth line definitely is a bit of an issue. Hmm. All right, his foot. Yeah, he's he's even a minus seven. Now. I think I think he's got to go. It's just and, and unfortunately, it's just, I think it's really hurting our team here. Yeah, he's, it's just all it's all negative. He hasn't lost any overall yet, but I think he's really tanking our locker room chemistry. I mean, look at look at the he's the only minus on this team. Like it just it just seems like he's not trying. So get him out. I think. Looking in, yeah, he's, his stats are starting to fall a bit more down to earth. All right, so let's look for a spot to get rid of Foot too. Then, unfortunate that the guy didn't pan out. I did trade a bit for him. It was that second overall pick, which of course didn't turn out to be much, but still. All right, well, let's see. I'm going to check out in our system here what we might have. If we can't, I don't think we can replace them internally. I'm just thinking what we might have, and I don't think we have anything. Not, no, not really. Yeah, so it'll have to be a trade, which is fine. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But yeah, foot just not panning out. So that sucks, but it's how it goes. All right, well. I say we start looking around, and then we need to also start thinking about the Brzgalov situation. So we could check on his value right now. I, do, I don't want to quite give up on him. I want to kind of hedge my best with him and Yoki Paka, but it is becoming a bit dangerous. All right, and yeah, his yeah his value did, is starting to drop off too. So now is probably the best time to uh, ship him off. He's on a good contract, so it's not horrible. I will look for you know a really good. I'll first of all look for a team who actually wants him. Winnipeg, they can afford him too. So let's see if they have a top six guy for us. We need a good right-handed, really good shutdown top six here. Bu oh, Bufflin, eighty-one. Uh, unfortunately, still a top four. And his defensive stats have fallen off pretty good. And that contract is shite. Ooh, grovel, grovel, grovel. Unfortunately, lefty. Damn. Two years left, too. I need a guy with more or less with one year left. Kevin Miller might be the guy. Minus 60. 
<laughs> Maybe not. I mean, yeah, their team's pretty good. So if you're a minus player on that team, that's not the greatest sign. Oh my, what? What? No. No. Okay, nothing there. All right, so I'm looking uh, for something like this. So I'm going to go after a TBR here because he's very, very good defensively. And he's a plus player on a bad, or not, they're actually not a bad team. But I think he would fit into our, to our team pretty well. I mean, his defensive stats are great. High discipline. Everything about this guy is pretty damn good in what I look for. So I think he'll fit into the Yoki Paka pretty well. So what we're going to try to go after is him and their first, not from this year since they're looking like a decent team, but trying to go for the pick from next year just in case they maybe have a weird year. I mean, it could, the value could get worse, but we do already have two firsts for this year. I'd probably rather try to spread it out. I will try to pick up some other stuff. Maybe some stuff for this year, pick-wise, because I don't think... Yeah, we actually don't have any other later stuff yet. So we could grab an extra second. Maybe a third, too. I might be able to get a second and a third from this year. Not, probably not all that, but we'll try. We'll see what they say to this. So foot for TBR, first from next year, second and a third from this year. Yeah, no. Um, Try to remove the... Th I don't think that's even close, either. No, yeah. Value's not sufficient. So it might have to be straight up for that. I'd like to get something else here let's try it with the third in there instead there we go okay yeah I'm, i like that i might have been able to get some later like five six and sevens too but i'm okay with that return there so hopefully that'll take care of some of our locker room chemistry issues as well that's the main thing callan foot yeah 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 a lot of people are not going to be happy about him getting traded all right let's put in tbr now bam and he'll he'll be in the penalty kill and such him and Kiprasov together. Yeah, I think they'll do all right. We'll see our, if our penalty kill does any better or whatever. Yeah. All right, well. That's one trade taken care of. And the other ones, I'm not still not too sure about. Yeah, still not too sure. I'm going to wait on some of those, though. All right, so foot's gone. Hopefully, we don't completely tank after that, but I think that trade just needed to happen because, as you can see, locker room chemistry was a bit low. I think it could go up now without him being, you know, pissed off about his playing time and such. And, yeah, let's, let's sim up here. Sim up to the deadline, and then we could reassess again from there. I could have kept foot on that whole time, but... It seemed that he was really having a negative effect, so, I mean, we'll see now. Without him on the team, will we do better? I hope so. We better. I mean, he was, seemed, I mean, he was a minus seven somehow on this team, so consider that. I don't know how, but he was. So let's hope we can uh, have a bit of luck here. There we go. There's another nice win. I want to see some higher scoring games a bit. We have been, oh, now, oh, now Kevin Miller. Oh, we could have just picked that guy up. But I don't think, I, I, I was looking at him through trade. He wasn't bad, but I think he was, no, he only had one year left. Okay, interesting. I'm not going to accept him now. I don't need to. Pretty funny, though. I do like TVR a lot better, though. I think he'll fit better. All right, let's check out Sweden then. Come on, guys. There we go. Another win. Come on. High goal scoring. Where, where are the goals at? First line, get going. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Answer. All right, another shutout. We've had so many shutouts this year. That's a tough loss right there. Answer back with a dub. Ooh, no. A couple ga few games in a row there. Not a lot of scoring, but we already hit 40 wins before the deadline, which is great. So our team is working. Philly. All right, there's another nice win. And a one, another shutout, only one goal for. 42, 14, and 7 at the deadline. That is really a great record. It really is. That's a really that's a fantastic record at the deadline. 42 14 and 7. Really a good record. We have a perfect 2 to 1 win loss ratio. And we have 91 Oh my god, no one's even close. 91 points, no one's close. I I'd say but our first line keeps falling off. Cullen. Cullen leading the way in points. All right, so goals for per game 3.16. You can see it keeps dropping down slightly. Uh, 2.21 goals against, so that one got better again. Uh, power play dropped a bit more, but it's still above 20%. Penalty kill went a bit back up. That's good. So, actually improved almost 2% in 
in that short amount of time. So I think moving foot was a really good thing. Also could be coincidence, but I don't know. It was trending downwards. Now it's trending back upwards. You could, you could of course have make the argument that it really had nowhere to go, but up, but I don't know. I still feel like that might have a bit to do with it. Really good home record. Good. Yeah. We're just great all around seven, three and oh in the last 10. All right, Colin. Leading the way, Barzal's only one point behind with one less game played. So it's still going to be a tight race. Panarin's still in it, too. 49. There's Okay, Dolan really fell off. What the hell? <laughs> God damn it, Dolan. You were doing so good. All right. Um, Bo and then Bo Beauvillier's being the weird... Yeah, he's having the really weird good year, but... I mean, he might actually be a 60-point guy. Dalcal should hit 50. Hosang might even hit 50. I don't know if Hogan will, but he's up to an 85 now. So he keeps growing. It's great news for us. Yokella still at 83. Really weak face-offs. He's probably be better as a winger. Klein, only at 23 points, still plus six. Looks our fourth line plus minus got slightly better, so maybe they're playing with the third pairing a lot. So maybe that was a thing as well. And I'm, kill I'm kicking myself because I forgot what TVR's plus minus was before he came on this team. Ooh, I think that actually dropped down though together. Because Yoki Paka, I felt like his plus minus was better. I don't know. They might have dropped a bit together, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, Dolan still well and truly at. Bouchard slipped as well. Dolan, I mean, still 47 points in 63 games played. I don't think he's hitting 60 points. I don't think he's going for the Norris, but I think, you know, what, what's really, what will really be the thing is if we, once we... Carlson's a really good point production guy. Once we get like a maybe a purely defensive guy with Dolan, like if Kiprasov gets up there and I start playing him on his offside or put Dolan on the offside and put Kiprasov up, maybe Dolan will really, really take over. Because right now he's kind of splitting a lot with Carlson. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, goaltender-wise, Lukanen, that's still fantastic. <laughs> Nine shutouts. Jesus. Four, and it's 43 games played, nine shutouts. Man, almost a almost a quarter of his games, he just gets a shutout. 29, I mean, almost one third of his wins, he's gotten a shutout, and he's just filthy, absolutely filthy. And Markstrom's a fantastic backup. And we're just—it's uh, a great way to stay in shape. We're doing good. We're doing real good here. So deadline is upon us, and the last things to decide are. Some of the other trades we we're looking at, such as making moves to, huh, I don't know, free up space, but our bottom is doing pretty good. The only thing I'd really consider is moving like Briz, Briz Golov or, yeah, that's really the only thing I'm considering right now is maybe moving Briz Golov. And we could go with Kupari again, but they did seem to kind of improve in that little stretch. I don't know how much, and... And now Briz, he did get a bit of growth, too. So he's being a dick like that. He's being like, hey, look at me. 111 shots on the fourth line with no special teams time. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to give up on this guy. <laughs> 25 points. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm just thinking out loud to myself if I should try Brizgalov on the third line for a bit. Has his face off a little better. Better awareness, less passing. Better shot. Uh, defense is pretty comp. Yeah, it's actually really comparable. It's pretty much the same, actually. Huh. I might try that. I might try, and we could still move and we'll. I don't know if I want to move Yokella yet either, but we could try something like this out. Put Brizgalov up because I like the way he was shooting. Now, if we put put him with someone like Hosang, maybe he does really good. And then we got Big Body Klein there to just create space. And if they're playing with the bottom pairing, they're not going to get a lot. But if they get matched up with either of these pairings, they're gonna they're gonna have a good time. So I, I think I might want to try that out. Try and Brizgalov onto the third line for a bit. Moving Yokella down. It's a thought, and I'm kind of enjoying that thought. I could even try him on the PK and stuff, but I'd rather not yet. I do like how Hogan's developing, though. That's really good for us. 
And his point scoring keeps getting better and better. Hilariously, Beauvillier is just being a goal scorer now. I don't really care. Points are coming. And Colin, easily going to be a 30 goal scorer. Probably not 40. But pretty easily going to be a 30 goal guy. Yeah. All right. So really what we're looking at here. Kupari is actually not getting too demoralized, which is really weird. Unless I'm... No, he is, but I mean... No, yeah, 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 he is. Pretty heftily, but he's not losing any overall due to it yet. <laughs> ah. I know some people were saying... I wasn't quite ready to trade the guy yet, but it's looking more and more like I should just actually do it at some point. Because even after him coming up... Ooh, hello. Fourth line. Can't really play you there, though. Sorry. You're not... Yeah, I'm going to have to see what he grows into. Langenbrunner, yeah, he's going to be listed as fourth line, too. But it's, it's again, it's another one of those situations. I'm just probably going to let him go or tender him. Someone else could pick him up. How's McKay doing okay? Just making sure that no one's roles are really changing. The good growth from these guys, are, that's a really good third line. I'm liking how that's looking. This guy's at 72 now. He's grown. I think he's grown a little bit. Maybe not that much, but definitely feel like he's grown a bit. How's our goaltenders? Yeah. Hauling in might not be growing much more. How's Gratton doing, though? Yeah. 16 games played, 10 wins. Those personal stats are really good. Good 2 1 2 punch on the goaltender end of things. All right. Yeah. I'm just thinking about Kupari and his future, basically. I'm just trying to look at... Yeah, Bellows is just garbage, but he's helping out this team, sort of. Hilariously, point scoring-wise, where's it all... Yeah, I was going to say, our second line probably producing better than our first line. Weirdly. Yeah, let's try that combination, then. Try to move Prince back up. Yeah. Because weirdly, that, that line, I mean, I don't mind it, especially for Grillo's sake, but for these two guys, well, at least more, more, more or less Korolev. We'll try him with Prince. Anyway, yeah, so trade-wise, uh, it's it's tough because I don't want to really get rid of anyone right now. Hosang is great for what he is. I think we, I think I am going to want to try Brezgalov here. And everyone, everyone else is just going to have to chill for now, for the most part, even Stevenson. Yeah, he doesn't. He he, like, he actually likes his ice time. Okay, cool. Oh wait, shit. Is he still on the? Yeah, I think he's still on the power play. That is a bit of my bad. Yeah, because I was supposed to move him. Yeah, he's got one goal, four assists. Not too bad, but yep, I did it. Hogan's supposed to be up there. I knew it. I forgot something. I don't know how long that was going on for, but probably pretty long. But the, th the thing is, Hogan was still producing like a freaking beast. Not as good as he could have been, of course, because I screwed up. Oh, well, <laughs> Stevenson was still doing well there. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Pretty much the same rate of stuff. Yeah, extra points for Hogan is never a bad thing. But I'm not I'm not too concerned about the point scoring. I mean, we were getting great production from all over the shop. So, it was working. Stevenson was liking his ice time. It helped him out a bit. So, whatever. All right, yeah, so any other trade ideas, basically. I, I'm not too sure. It's Our team's looking good. I want to try him out on the third line, and everything else, Kupari, he's there. And, yeah, I can trade him for something, but I think he'd be really good to have in a playoff run. <laughs> so I think I might want to hold on, hold on to him. So anyway, you guys can let me know. Any other ideas that you guys have for trades, other lineup changes, let me know, definitely. But we're in great shape, 91 points. I mean, we're easily making the playoffs, and... We have a really good shot at the president, so things are going really well for right now in the in the long uh, in New York. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Remember to leave that like, and I will see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you. Be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.